Here are 10 interesting things about our planet that many people may not know. Number one, the shape of the Earth is not a perfect sphere. Rather, it's best described as an oblate spheroid. This means that while the Earth is mostly spherical, it is slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. This deviation from a perfect sphere is a result of the Earth's rotation, a phenomenon known as equatorial bulge. The Earth's rotation causes a centrifugal force that counteracts the force of gravity at the equator, leading to a slight outward bulge in this region. As a result, the equatorial diameter of the Earth is approximately 43 kilometers, 27 miles, greater than the polar diameter. This deviation from a perfect sphere has significant implications for various aspects of the Earth's natural processes and physical characteristics. One important consequence of the Earth's oblate shape is its gravitational field. The variation in the distance from the Earth's center to its surface results in a slightly higher gravitational force at the poles compared to the equator. This uneven distribution of gravitational force influences ocean tides, atmospheric circulation patterns, and even the Earth's crust, contributing to the overall dynamics of the planet. Additionally, the Earth's oblate shape affects geodetic measurements and cartography. Number two, the Earth's magnetic field is continuously shifting and has even reversed its polarity 183 times in the past 83 million years. The Earth's magnetic field is a dynamic and ever-changing feature that has captivated scientists for decades. This magnetic field, generated by the Earth's outer core of molten iron and nickel, has a remarkable property. It is continually shifting and has even reversed its polarity numerous times throughout the planet's history. These geomagnetic reversals, also known as magnetic field reversals, involve the north and south magnetic poles exchanging their positions, a phenomenon documented through the examination of rocks and sediments. Theories and hypotheses abound regarding the mechanisms driving these magnetic pole reversals. One prominent hypothesis suggests that the reversals occur due to the turbulent and chaotic behavior of the Earth's outer core, which generates the planet's magnetic field through a process known as the geodynamo. Changes in the flow patterns of the molten outer core, influenced by convection currents, may lead to fluctuations in the magnetic field that ultimately result in the reversal of polarity. The implications of these geomagnetic reversals are profound and wide-ranging. The study of paleomagnetism, which investigates the record of past magnetic fields preserved in rocks, has revealed a history of numerous reversals, providing a window into the Earth's ancient magnetic activity and tectonic movements. Understanding the patterns and frequencies of these reversals offers insights into the Earth's geologic past and the behavior of its internal processes over geological timescales. Furthermore, the Earth's magnetic field plays a crucial role in shielding the planet from harmful solar radiation and cosmic particles. During a reversal, when the strength of the magnetic field diminishes and the poles undergo reorientation, there could be potential implications for technological systems such as power grids and telecommunication networks. The diminished protective effect of the magnetic field during a reversal could lead to increased exposure to space weather making this a topic of interest and concern for scientists and engineers. Number three, Earth's atmosphere extends much farther than most people think. While the majority of the air is concentrated in the lower atmosphere, the exosphere, the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere, extends over 10,000 kilometers, 6,200 miles, into space. The Earth's atmosphere, a vital component for supporting life and shaping climatic patterns, extends far beyond what most people commonly perceive. While the boundary of space is often sighted at an altitude of 100 kilometers, 62 miles, above sea level, where the Earth's atmosphere transitions into the vacuum of outer space, the influence of Earth's atmosphere reaches much farther into space than this threshold. The regions beyond this commonly recognized edge of space hold the influence of Earth's atmosphere in various ways impacting celestial bodies and contributing to the dynamic nature of the space surrounding our planet. One significant boundary beyond which the Earth's atmosphere continues to exert its influence is the exosphere, a region extending from the upper reaches of the atmosphere to the outer edges of the geocorona. The geocorona, characterized by a tenuous layer of hydrogen gas, extends to several Earth radii and interacts with the solar wind and the interplanetary medium. This region is a testament to the expansive reach of Earth's atmosphere, where its influence intertwines with the surrounding expanse of space. The impact of Earth's atmosphere also extends beyond the exosphere, 
affecting celestial bodies within the near-Earth environment. The atmosphere's drag on orbiting satellites and space debris extends to altitudes far beyond the commonly recognized boundary of space, ultimately influencing the motion and distribution of objects in low Earth orbit. Furthermore, the presence of the Earth's atmosphere beyond the traditional boundary of space has implications for activities such as space travel, satellite operations, and the longevity of spacecraft in orbit. Number 4. The Earth is not a static body. It is constantly moving. It's rotating on its axis at about 1,040.4 miles per hour at the equator. At the same time, it orbits around the Sun at about 67,000 miles per hour. The Earth's rotation is gradually slowing down at a rate of approximately 1.7 milliseconds per century. This is a result of tidal forces caused by the gravitational pull of the Moon and the Sun. As the Moon's gravity pulls on the Earth, it creates tidal bulges. As the Earth rotates, these bulges try to align with the Moon, but due to the Earth's rotation, they are slightly ahead. As the Earth's rotation slows, the length of a day increases. In fact, the average day is thought to lengthen by about 1.7 milliseconds every century. This may not seem significant on a day-to-day timescale, but over millions of years it has a measurable effect. The slowing of the Earth's rotation leads to adjustments in various natural processes. For example, ocean tides are affected by the Earth's rotation, and as the rotation slows, the tidal patterns also change. In addition, the Earth's slowing rotation affects the distribution of its mass, leading to changes in its axis of rotation and causing a phenomenon known as polar motion. The slowing of the Earth's rotation has pervasive effects on various natural phenomena that significantly impact our planet. One of the most noticeable consequences of this phenomenon is the alteration of the Earth's gravitational dynamics. As the Earth's rotation slows, the redistribution of its mass leads to changes in the planet's oblateness or the extent to which it bulges at the equator. This changing distribution of mass also influences the Earth's gravitational field, which in turn affects the behaviors of ocean currents, atmospheric circulation patterns, and even the Earth's crust. Furthermore, the extended duration of days resulting from the Earth's slowing rotation influences a range of ecological and environmental processes. For example, changes in the duration of daylight can impact ecosystems, affecting the behaviors of plants, animals, and even microorganisms. These alterations in day length can affect the timing of crucial biological events such as flowering, reproduction, and migration, leading to potential repercussions throughout ecosystems. The Earth's rotation also plays a pivotal role in shaping the planet's climate. As the rotation slows, there are potential implications for temperature distributions, weather patterns, and the overall energy balance of the Earth. The changing lengths of days can have repercussions on the distribution of solar energy, potentially impacting regional climates and long-term climate trends. Moreover, the altered rotation influences the Coriolis effect, a key factor in the formation of prevailing winds and ocean currents, further influencing global weather systems. Number five, there are more living organisms in a teaspoon of soil than there are people on Earth. Soil is teeming with a diverse array of microscopic life, including bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms essential for supporting plant life. Within just a teaspoon of soil, an ecosystem exists that hosts an inconceivable multitude of living organisms, surpassing the Earth's human population in sheer numbers. This microcosm of the Earth's biosphere encapsulates a staggering array of microorganisms, invertebrates, fungi, and plant roots, all engaging in intricate interactions that underpin the essential processes of nutrient cycling, decomposition, and soil formation. At the heart of this miniature ecosystem lie an array of microorganisms, including bacteria, archaea, fungi, and protists, each playing a vital role in the soil's biological web. Bacteria with their unparalleled diversity, occupy pivotal niches in the soil ecosystem, contributing to processes such as nitrogen fixation, decomposition of organic matter, and the breakdown of pollutants. Archaea, often overshadowed by their bacterial counterparts, inhabit specialized ecological niches, such as extreme environments, and participate in critical biogeochemical cycles. Meanwhile, an intricate network of fungi, including mycorrhizae and saprotrophic fungi, form intimate associations with plant roots and contribute to nutrient uptake, carbon cycling, and the decomposition of organic material within the soil matrix. Additionally, protists, though diminutive in size, 
exert influence through their roles in nutrient cycling and predation on other microorganisms, adding a layer of complexity to the soil's microbial community. Number six, the Earth's largest volcano isn't on land, it's actually beneath the ocean. The largest volcano on Earth, in terms of both height and volume, is Mauna Loa, which is located on the Big Island of Hawaii in the United States. Mauna Loa is a shield volcano, and it rises about 13,678 feet above sea level. However, when measured from its base on the ocean floor to its summit, Mauna Loa's height is over 30,000 feet, making it taller than Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth. When measured from base to summit, Mauna Loa is one of the most active volcanoes on the planet and has erupted numerous times in the past century, with its most recent eruption occurring in 1984. It is part of the larger Mauna Loa Volcano Observatory, which monitors volcanic activity in the region. Number 7. Earth's moon is slowly moving away from the planet at a rate of about 1.5 inches per year. This is due to tidal forces between the Earth and the moon. In about 50 billion years, the moon will take about 47 days to orbit the Earth instead of the current 27.3 days. The enthralling cosmic ballet between the Earth and its celestial companion the moon is marked by a subtle yet inexorable dance of mutual influences. Number 8. The Earth's magnetic field constitutes a formidable cosmic shield, a dynamic force field that envelops the planet. The convective flow within the Earth's liquid outer core provides the engine for generating and sustaining the planet's magnetic field. This magnetic cloak serves as a planetary bulwark, deflecting and modulating the invasion of solar wind and cosmic radiation. It acts as a sentinel, shielding the Earth's biosphere and atmospheric domains from the ravages of potent solar emissions and cosmic rays, thus fostering the nurturing cradle of life. Number 9. The deepest place on Earth is the Mariana Trench in the western Pacific Ocean, which reaches a depth of 36,201 feet. Between 750,000 and 2 million different species of marine life can be found in the Marian Trench, one of the least studied regions in the world which was discovered in 1875 by the Challenger Expedition. At 36,201 feet, if Mount Everest were placed at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, its peak would still be over 1.2 miles underwater. The colossal pressures and near-freezing temperatures that reign within the Mariana Trench evoke an otherworldly realm that captivates the human imagination and ignites scientific inquiry. Number 10. Earth's land masses are also constantly shifting. The tectonic plates that make up the Earth's crust are always in motion, which leads to phenomena like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the gradual movement of continents over millions of years. This process is known as plate tectonics. The tectonic plates orchestrates a continental drift, converging to create mountain ranges, sundering to form sprawling oceans and yielding to volcanic eruptions that shape the planet's surface. The Andes, Himalayas, and other mountain ranges bear the indelible signature of tectonic tumult, their lofty summits a testament to the continuous march of geological disruption. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating time and space-related content.